Reciprocal causation is a phenomenon described by social cognitive theories. This concept describes how environmental factors like reinforcement or teacher scaffolding can have effects on personal factors such as self-efficacy or self-determination, which then have an effect on behaviors, which then will affect environmental factors, and so on and so forth, so that all three factors influence each other and can either bring great success or great failures. Let's consider the example that Amrad gives us at the end of chapter 10. We start with Lori, who has low self-efficacy. Check out that black squiggle. It means she has low motivation and low confidence at her task. This results in basically poor performance in class and ultimately bad grades. Check out that sad F. This results in reprimands or negative reinforcement from her teacher. Amra describes a case where maybe the teacher might intervene, but if he or she is not consistent with it, the behaviors go back to being kind of poor, and the teacher will ultimately give the students negative, negative reinforcement. This negative reinforcement results in lower self-efficacy for the student which then results in a continuation or maybe even a dropping of her grades and her performance in school, which then influences the expectations of her teachers and her teachers might then again give her more negative reinforcement. All in all, the cycle uh, compounds upon itself. In contrast, what if the teacher was aware of reciprocal causation? and had means to prevent this type of negative cycling? What if this teacher taught self-efficacy through scaffolding and through clear goals? This can result in higher self-efficacy in the student, higher determination. Check out the, um, the tie. She's, uh, she's like channeling Rambo because she's totally into this which can result in better grades, A++++++, plus 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 plus, better behavior. Check out that dancing term paper. This positive behavior has a result on her environment. Her teachers will have higher expectations and give her positive reinforcement, which then again will raise her self-efficacy, which then again stimulates positive behavior, so on and so forth in a cycle of success. In conclusion, reciprocal causation is a phenomenon described within social cognitive theories, and it's a phenomenon where successes compound successes or failures compound failures because behavior, environmental factors, and personal factors are interdependent.